Hello everyone, and welcome to a random social race around Hareth. So, random is the key word here really. There's a few ARL guys in this, in this. in fact it's only ARL guys in this to be honest. I just decided I wanted to have a little race online with some of these guys. So uh, we managed to get I think it's about 7 people together. And we decided to do a 25% distance race on Hareth. So this is going to be a first lengthy online race. I've done a couple of 3 lappers but nothing huge and nothing that's gone online. Um, and here we go then, so jumping straight into the setup, won't bother reading it out, I'll just talk more about the video. So I said I think there's about 7 people, 18 laps you can see at the top there. But interestingly, none of us have really practiced, well I haven't practiced, I've practiced what you've seen, that's about it. But a few people haven't even played this uh, track at all, so all of us are highly unpracticed at this track. Um, so it should be interesting. People from various splits, so there's some from sort of split 4, some from split 3, some from split 2, some from split 1. So... Uh, bit of a mix of skill there so it should be interesting but uh till we all learn the track it's all gonna be pretty even i think until we start to get a bit quicker so flicking through the setup there wasn't she really sure what to do and uh strategy wise i'm starting on options the game advised get option uh option prime option no it didn't option option prime and i've switched that to option prime option <laughs> i've switched that to go on options at the end basically so uh we'll see how we get on i believe it's like that anyway yeah it is we'll see Anyway, we're on the grid now. I'm starting from the very back of the grid. Eight people it is. And Mikey there on the right hand side is my teammate. Who I believe is the only other guy from Split 1. So we'll see how we get on. So he's straight away coming ahead of Mikey there. Having a better start. Using a bit of curse. Got the outside here. And almost touched that before Cindy ahead. And that pushed me very wide. I did break too late there, to be fair. I don't know whether I break too late for the start. Whether they break too early. I'm not really too sure. But you see already there's cars all over the shop. But I'm still at the back for the moment. Plus two fuel then, so plenty of fuel. I think I've just done normal fuel. Still got some gravel on my tyres. Flying up on Maxime now. Had a look up inside there, but decided against it. And again, there's cars all over the shop there. Off the track and all sorts. So I've gone way too deep in there. And again, that pushed me right to the back. It's completely my fault, because I thought, well, I want this car. It's just gone off, but I'm not going to do And again, I've locked my tyre and gone deep there again. So despite being probably one of the best practice drivers on the grid, I'm doing completely awfully. Yeah, this is quite interesting now I find. Uh, also a woman which is unedited as well, hence it being hence its length. But um This uh, race is quite interesting purely because no one's practiced. A lot of people haven't even raced this track, so it's quite it's literally like it's it's you know, wet and we're all on dry tires at points. You'll see. It's just really there's a car off straight away, I'm gonna go up his inside, smuffler that was, pretty quick driver. Let's have one straight up his inside. Let's sort it him out. Come into the final corner, there's lots of cars, look at this, look, there's just cars all over the place, like I said. Look at the minimap, no one's even pulled away. It is literally like <laughs> a wet track with dry tyres. It is that bad. So, uh, interesting stuff. Just seven tenths behind Fate Ghost ahead now then. He's also a pretty quick driver. Come beautifully to the first corner, gave a bit of time. Bit of always on the exit though. At this point, I'm not even thinking about tyre web, I'm just thinking about positions because it's so messy. There's a few cars that are wide there. I just hold my racing line quite nicely. And nice and close to Fate Ghost now then. Full throttle left hander. Quick right hander, but too slow through there and lose like, quite a bit of time. It's pretty much full throttle that corner. It's again, look how bunched up everyone is. Look, it's just all over the place. I've gone too deep in there again and on the gravel again. Compromised me heavily. And Smuffler's right up inside to push me pretty much down to last, but managed to outbreak them. And everyone has just gone off there basically. Pretty much everyone has just gone off at that last corner. I'm all the way up to fourth. I've actually lost the position around the corner and still went from seventh to fourth. So. <laughs> About four cars all went off at the same corner, pushing each other off, so it's interesting stuff, but I managed to avoid it. That puts me up to fourth place. Smuffy just ahead now, as I said, pretty quick driver. Don't know if he's practiced or not. Did make that one mistake that allowed me to overtake him, but we'll see how we get on from now. So just six tenths back from him then, so close enough to get a nice load of slipstream. He's still not quite taking sweet lines, so I'm breaking very late. Not getting a great line through there just yet. Just touching the grass on the inside, then not getting a good exit because of it. So I've got plenty of curves left, actually didn't quite much use all my curves there. That was a fast half of the race for me though. Not personal best, but probably not off the race. Someone's very wide there, who's that? Is that Fake Ghost? About to see, yes it is indeed, Fake Ghost. I'm really quite wide there. Smuffer does a fast lap, that was the guy who overtook me. I'm right behind Fake Ghost now, really very, very close to him. So let's see if I can manage to get a position. I'm still breaking too much into there. Rupert Gomer is outside and they just collide there, Fake Ghost. That's a bit of a problem, but not too much. I've dived up his inside here, and he's just completely off the track. That was maybe a little bit my fault, but he probably could have, probably could have stayed on the track if he tried. I think he, 
well, we were on two speaker time and I said what happened, he just said he basically just decided to drive off the track because I was there, so uh, just a move, but up to P3 now then, as the cars are battling ahead, I see that's an opportunity, definitely into this corner, as I try to follow Smuffer through there, but Mikey is squeezing me, and I almost followed Smuffer off the track there, Mikey squeezes me again, and as I've gone very deep there, too deep into the gravel, that's cost me more time, uh, Smuffer managed to get into the lead, then instantly lost it by going too deep, and I, like I said, I almost followed him in, so I wasn't too sure where to break there, concentrate on Mike. Luckily I realised last second and got on the brakes a bit harder and again I'm still touching the grass and they're not getting a great line. As I use the rest of my curves now for run to line and I do manage to use all this lap. So a better lap for me but it's still a long way off. I think the best was an 18 was it? Maybe, I don't know. Still I'm a long way off it, at least a second off it but it wasn't a clean lap was it for sure. Still not quite getting clean laps in Mike, he's managed to start pulling away from me now. As I said he's a pretty quick driver. And uh, I've been told to pit this lap, it is supposed to be a two stop, but I've been told to pit this lap, but look at my tyres, they aren't too bad, despite not taking them easy on them, so I'm going to stay out, but the only thing I've got to watch is that the car ahead, Mikey, is my teammate, so if we put on the same lap, I will get held up, so I won't put on the same lap, so as I go too deep there, way too deep, right off the track again, and that was fake, fake goes through again, and it's like Smuffler must have made another mistake and fallen back, so that pushed me right back to third, looking like I had a chance for the lead there, but I'm back all the way again, so I don't know why I'm making so many mistakes. Like I've done sub practice at this track, so uh, it's interesting, but there we go. So once again, gone a bit deep there, but not too bad. On the curbs. 1.9 to Fake Ghost now. I thought about pitting this lap, but I decided no, these tyres aren't too bad. I want to push it as much as possible. I don't want to be running out of tyres at the end. And it looks like Fake Ghost ahead has pitted, and I wondered before the race how bad this pit entry was, and he still managed to mess it up. <laughs> But we'll see in a minute, this pen pitch really is quite awful. So we'll see. About three seconds to Mike then. So I want to try and close it down, but I've decided that Prime Tyres tells me that Fake Ghost is now on. As I've now decided that, unfortunately my team disconnects, I've now decided that I will, if Mikey doesn't pitch at the end of this lap, I will. Because I probably could go another lap, but then if Mikey pits on that lap, I'm stuffed. So. I'm going to go for another lap. Still three seconds to Mikey, so we're pretty similarly paced now as he's gone off the track there. Which has probably enabled me to gain a bit of time. Still not definitely anywhere near my quickest on this track though. So I've gone a bit deep there, but actually managed to stop it quite nicely in the end. Looked like it was too deep, but got away with it. And uh, probably already gathered actually. One thing I haven't mentioned is this was my first uh, post commentated race in a while. So this isn't a live commentated race. You probably already gathered by the tone of my voice and things. I'm not reacting to things that are happening so much. So I'm not actually doing it at the time as I've gained almost a second on uh, him there and 2.8 of my previous and purple fast of anyone but like I said if he doesn't pit now I will pit and luckily I've managed to close down him just enough so I can see in the pit entry is just after this corner to the left and he doesn't go into the pits now so I'm going to try it as I would have got that stopped but look at that I'm on the grass and it's breaking for me so that was, a bit, that was just literally because I went too wide on the pit entry and I still didn't quite make it around that corner let's still hit the barrier despite trying to cut the corner a bit but um yeah, that was very frustrating. So I would have made that pit entry, but unfortunately I got a bit wide. Got on the grass, it braked for me, locked my tyres and pushed me completely wide. So definitely cost me quite a few seconds. I'm not sure how many just yet, but definitely a lot. You can see that I'm behind Fake Ghost now. I was, well, I was about two seconds behind him, wasn't I? But he also had a pit um, issue. Probably not as severe as mine, but he did have a pit issue. So there we go. On to the primes now then. Nice fresh tyres, those should still be faster than the options for now. Hopefully. And I don't need to push to try and catch Mike because I suspect he will pit the end of his lap. But I'll tell you now, he is now on primes. I didn't realise this at the time. I realised, I think, in about a lap or two when I asked him to team speak. And he says, no, he started on primes. So if I knew that, I would have stayed out one more lap on the options. But there we go. That's why he tells me cars are in standard revs. And here we go then. So like I said... At this time I was pushing to try and make sure I come out ahead of Mike, but in reality that wasn't who I was really fighting, it's probably more fake ghost for now at least. But um, I know Mike traditionally is pretty soft in his tyres, that's always what he said, he's always said he's pretty good on his tyres. So um, it should be interesting to see if he goes for one stop. I think I'm, at this point I'm thinking, not really thinking about the strategy, but if I thought about it a bit more, I probably could have gone one up longer and possibly made a one stop work, but we'll see how it plays out later in the race. 
So again, I'm still not getting a great line for that final corner, and I've got too much curves left. Not going to be able to use it all. 20.1 new fast lap. Well, probably personal best for me. 2.4 to fake goes ahead now, so not really gaining on him much. Pushing to try and close him down, but definitely easier said than done. Just also trying to take it easy on the tyres now, as so I now I'm really starting to think about the tyres. Thinking right, needs to be a bit careful with these. I believe it was around about about a lap or so. 1860 fast lap, a lot faster than I've done. But I should be able to improve this lap. And yeah, I believe it's around here or so that I decided, right, I'm going to try and go for one stop. Take it easy on the tyres. Try and close fake ghost down, but don't give everything. You can see me being really careful with the rears. But don't give absolutely everything to catch him. It's just not necessary because he will probably stick with a two stop. I'm pretty sure of it. So I'm going to take it really easy. Go for a one stop. That's the plan. I've gone a bit deep there, though. Some purple fast anyone to look like a fast lap of the race despite me trying to take it easy. I've, like, I've also gained on fake ghost, but it's exactly what I wanted to do. I've traditionally been about second lap faster than him. In previous games though of course, and I'm when we're well practiced, so now the rest are well practiced for this track. Both have had a go on it though, I believe. So the rest of my cars out front of the line, is it gonna be a fastest lap? It absolutely is a 17.5, but a second lap on the previous fastest, so I've gained a lot there. 2.6 on my previous best. And I've gone too deep there on the first corner though and straight away ruined it. Unfortunately, so there we go, confirmation of my fastest lap. Let's on the exit there. When I get a fastest lap, I always tend to push a bit harder. I don't know why, it's just in my bones. I've managed to improve it a bit there, but only by a couple hundreds. Just in my bones to, right, I'm obviously quick. I'm going to push a bit harder and go a bit quicker. <laughs> that's that's always, my, it's always my natural instinct. Cause I've taken a horrible call on that. My natural instinct to do that, so I've lost half a second in the first sector as well. Quite a bit of time. 1.8 to fake ghost now, so still wheel him in very slowly, but I'm happy with that. Wheel him in quick enough, to be honest. So we've got 10 laps left to go then. Approaching halfway distance in this race. Not quite there yet, but again, as I've now gone to a bridge as well, just to try and close that gap down to fake ghost. 1.5 seconds to him now, so closing down again. Despite not having my best middle sector. So I'm really starting to reel him in now. Hopefully, I'm going to move on him in the next couple of laps. Bit of curves there. I'm I'm not forgetting to use my curves, but it's quite a short track. Yeah, in terms of places to use curves, it's not many really long straights, so I keep having to make sure I use it before, half it before that final corner, otherwise I can't use it all. That's just a second. Oh, I've just realised. Yes, fake ghost gaps are glitched. <laughs> forgot about that. Forgot about that. So uh, yeah, ignore those gaps pretty much. They're a rough indication, but you can see I'm visually close down. I use visuals more than the gaps because they're just not accurate. That's not a second gap, is it, to him now? It's definitely more, more like two, maybe three seconds. I'm still probably visually closer, closer to him, so I've gone a bit wide there, though. I should keep on the track at least. Half a second on my previous. Tidy lap, and that was a horrible corner. Not enough speed, and I cut the corner, and I got on the grass. Pretty terrible. And a long time as well to him, apparently, according to that gap. So it's a nice corner there, though. That's what I seem to be good at, breaking deep, but still making the corner. That seems to be one of my... We'll see when we get into the race. I'll talk about that in a second. That seems to be one of my strong points it's been able to break really quite late but still make the corner nicely because I break late get it slowed down mostly for the corner and do a little bit of trail breaking into the corner it seems to work quite nicely for me and I a lot of time don't think I'm going to make the corner I'm thinking oh I've gone too deep and then I make it like that last one there I mentioned I thought I've probably gone too deep there and then no I just stay to the apex nicely so that wasn't really one because the line I take through that I compromise the entry to get a better exit so again I'm quite used to have my curves before the corner will I be able to use it all not quite a new fast, new person best for me, but not by a lot. Not probably not even. No, it's not a fastest lap. I've only improved it by a couple of thousands. Apparently half a second to fake ghost now, and again same situation there. Thought I'd gone too deep, but managed to bring it back just about a little bit of a lock of the inside wheel. It was a bit deeper than I'd like still, but I did manage to bring it back and not really lose any time because of it. Now pretty much full throttle through there. And uh, yeah, I said I'd talk about that in a second. So ARL then. At the moment, the league is on hold. We had the FPS issues, that's what put it on hold, and we're just keeping it on hold now. There's reports of a few lag issues and a few cars being stuck on racing lines and things like that, and we just don't want to race it like that. So we put it on hold for now, and as soon as we get the patch and get it all fixed, we'll crack on. But we are, in the meantime, going to be doing some social races, kind of like this one, but more organised with more people. So uh, it's have to go on purple there, middle sector. So it should be a bit better than these races. Oh, they've gone deep there, though. Completely ruined that good lap. And one right out on the gravel. 
yeah, it should be good races. So there's still be definitely something to look forward to. They just won't be a championship table and people might change each race. Hopefully we're going to do a race or two. We're going to follow the official ARL calendar. Hopefully we're going to do a race or two before it all gets fixed. Anyway, back to this race then. Tire wear's not looking too bad again. And uh, I've not really got a tire wear saving setup. I've not got a tire using setup. But I've not got a tire wear saving setup either. Which is pretty average really, so... Don't quite well to make these tyres last this well. Maybe that's just how they are on this track. Definitely nice and close to fake ghost. And I was beautifully close before I made that mistake. I probably would have done a fastest lap of the race as well. So a little bit frustrating that I did make the mistake, but I did. Strategy then, I should be pitting about four laps for the end, I believe it is. So about lap 14 for a set of options to take me to the end. And that's that. So I believe Mike is still out on his set of primes he started the race on. So quite an achievement. We're still out on that. So not had a great exit there at all. 14 seconds to Smuffler. So he is quick. We've seen a couple of fastest laps on him there, but he's too far back, isn't he, really, to uh, to worry hugely about him unless I make any big mistakes. But I shouldn't imagine I will now. Now I've got into the flow of this track. I should be okay. It's a much better corner. Much, much better. That's what I should have done last lap, and I would have got a purple, but there we go. As I'm out. Not quite close to fake goes. Not close enough to pull a move on, I think, but closing down in him, aren't I? It's, uh, I wonder if that's Mike, the next car. If it is, he's suffering quite badly from tyre because I'm gaining a lot on him on the mini map. That's 18 one to me there, so six tenths off my best. So apparently it's four tenths fake ghost, but again, we're ignoring that gap. I think it might be Mike head, you know. So nice and close to fake ghost now, which is beautiful. I'm running really quite close to him. Oh, nice pull away a bit there, though, at that corner. That's a good exit. Still just trying to close them down now. As I said, I'm trying to set my tyres. I'm thinking of going to one st for a one stop, and I know that Fake Ghost will stop again. I'm hoping not to have to stop again. So this is beautiful to be faster than him, and also going to go longer than him without using too much tyres. It's amazing. And I believe actually I was taking it quite easy on. I, I haven't really seen it too much, but I believe I was taking it quite easy on the front left as well a lot of the way through this race. As whoever that car ahead is is quite slow. Is indeed Mike in the Red Bull, and he must just have horrible tyre wear. He's ran wide there, and I almost collected him because I also run wide but managed to avoid him. I kind of got stuck in a dirty air, fake goes ahead there. I'm almost winding up following Mike or hitting Mike in the gravel. And I did follow him in the gravel, didn't I? Because I was in the gravel. It's gone a little bit deep there, man. I actually got on the throttle in the middle of the corner to try and recover my line a bit, which I did do. But I've fallen back a bit from fake ghost in that incident. So it's cost me time, there's no doubt about that. So as we stop in this lap then, so it was 13 as we stopping on, but as I said, I'm going to try to see if I can go to the end. I can with the tyres, no doubt, but it's whether it will get me the win or not. It's going to be close to fake ghost because, yeah, OK, he's got a pit again, but he's going to be options. He's going to be a lot faster than me, particularly towards the end of the race when my tyres are really warm. He will be a lot faster than me, so the strategy is still up in the air at the moment. Not too sure what I'm going to do. Three next down Rebus. Again, we're ignoring that gap to fake ghost. Keep wanting to use it. I'm still using the gap. Ignore it, but we're definitely under a second to him, aren't, aren't we? Yeah, a little bit deep there, never quite got to the apex, but not far off it. To be fair. So now I'm getting a bit of slipstream, you can see by the shaky camera. Winters with tyres there. Obviously, not a good race for him. So gone a little bit deep there, but actually, that wasn't too bad. And that makes me have a horrible first second part of the corner, though. Took a lot of curves to try and make it round there, which I managed to do quite nicely. Definitely nicely posted now, aren't I? Look at this. Lots and lots of slipstream on him. As, oh, he scares me a little bit there. He came into the pits, but uh, was on the racing line very much and broke very early for being on the racing line. That would have been breaking way too early if he was going to go around the next corner, but of course he wasn't. So it scared me a bit. Because I would kind of I would expect him to pull over to the left a little bit early in that if he's coming to the pits. So I managed to avoid him though, so it wasn't too bad. All we care about now is the gap to fake ghost. Do I think he's going to close that down before the end? I can recover this now. I can bring it back to a two stop if I pit this lap. It's asking me to do that. But do I need to? So, I believe we're just about to cross the, or we already have crossed the first sector line, so we're just waiting for fake ghost to cross it now to get a gap. Again, the gap isn't going to be fully usable purely because he's got that gap glitch, but it's going to be rough indicator 12.5 apparently. And. Even if it's a couple of seconds off, even if he's 15 seconds back, I still reckon he can close that down. 
five seconds a lap, that's a lot, but equally, he's going to be a lot quicker than me, particularly towards the end. I'm not at my fastest, that's for sure, at the moment. So I think, since I was right behind him anyway, I'm going to pit. I believe I do pit this lap. Yeah, we used all my curves while I'm there. And now we'll see if we can have a successful pit entry this time. I followed the other car in and I managed to have a nice pit entry this time. The other car went wide and got reset. I managed to have a beautiful pit entry this time. That's what I probably would have done the first time if I didn't go on the grass. There we go, three second stop, not bad at all. And where's the ghost? He's coming down the pit, pit straight now, so he's going to be miles ahead of me actually. Got quite a big undercut, because I was right behind him as we come into the pits. Almost hit him, didn't I, in fact? So, again, I will look at the gap. Not that it's going to mean huge amounts, but I will have a look at it. At it. Oh, there's a lot of tyre there and gone deep. I don't want to be doing that. It's because I straight away start to push, because I know that I haven't got long. I've looked at the lap counter. 15 of 18. There's just three laps left to go after this one. And uh, I'm a good few seconds back from him. Just in fact, probably further than I have been before in this race. Apparently it's a second according to that, which is clearly wrong. Smuffler is the fastest lap there, 17.2 was that. So pretty quick stuff. I'm hoping to be able to beat that now on these options. Hopefully I'll be able to close fake, down, fake goes down and take him at the end. But it's going to be very close. I need to push now. So like I said in the previous stint, I was conserving tyres a bit. Now I am absolutely not doing that. I am just pushing to the absolute limit. I'm still not used to how much script these tyres give me. But I'm pushing them. See, I've straight away closed him down in that sector. That was a pretty sweet sector. I'm pushing very, very hard now. Tire wear does not matter anymore. Like, even if I push hard and he doesn't, my tire wear should still be, well, even if it's equal to him towards the end, because I picked one up later, of course. The rest of my curse now, then down the pit straight. We've definitely closed down, down on him. Wait. Is that an 18 0? That was on my outlap. That's not bad at all for an outlap. So I've gone deep there, they right off the track again, but only grass, not gravel, so it didn't slow me down too much. It's fake ghosts, the fastest lap, so he's clearly quick, a 17-1. Definitely a lot closer now, we've probably gained a couple of seconds on him that last lap alone, I'd say. So hopefully, absolutely flat through there now, easily, even up to six. And Smuff is a faster, even faster, that's an astonishing lap. 15-8, and I'm purple though, first sector, 2.6 up on my previous. So I'm definitely on to beat that lap, no doubt about that. That's a pretty sweet line through there. Got a bit wider than I would like on the exit, definitely. Almost on the grass. It's apparently on the second down. That gap's all over the place, isn't it? Really weird. Really weird. It's been a second ever since I came out of the pits, but I've gained loads on him. Not strange. And it's still a second. There we go. I've gone too wide there, though. Right on the grass. We've got away with it. And managed to keep the next corner tidy, which is more important. 2.7 up my previous purple. Fastest of anyone. It's looking like a fast stop of the race now. I'm pushing hard. I suspect Fake Ghost is also pushing very hard now. Because he realises I'm coming for him. And he probably realises I'm a bit faster than him. Which I've got the feeling I have at the moment. And I'm a bit faster. And there we go then. Indeed a 15-8. So a little bit up on what Smuffer did. I say not what Smuffer did. Actually within a tenth I think. A bit deep on the first corner there. Apparently 1.1 to fake ghost. But we're definitely close to him aren't we? Race on. Is there. I always like seeing that. Especially when you're hunting someone down. It makes them scared. It makes them think. Jesus this guy's quick. Even if their laps are 15-9. It makes you a bit scared because you know the other person's faster. And you know he's coming for you. Makes you a bit nervous. I've got a purple first set then. Not a lot. 300s, but a little bit up. And that was a pretty sweet there. Got a bit too much on the curb, but it managed to maintain the speed throughout. Breaking late now. Managed to turn it in a bit better than Fake Ghost did, but got a compromise my exit. Oh, lots of wolf on the exit. I'm on Rich now as well. Using lots of uh, fuel. And I'll go back to standard. I think at last that was on Rich. So I've gone deep there though. Right out wide. That was because of his dirty air. Didn't expect it to affect me that much. I'm still purple though at the moment, but I still don't think that will carry on. And took way too much curb out. It was a horrible corner. And got some oversteer on the exit. So I lost a lot of time there in his dirty air. But that's good. I'm now going to go to Rich down this straight. Because I'm still in the dirty air. We're going to come onto the final lap now then. This is going to be very close towards the end. Breaking later than him. I think I'm losing, using high large discs. So I'm breaking quite late relative to the other guys. Both they are running that. He had some curves there as well. Another fastest lap, a 15-7. But I could definitely go faster than that. Couldn't have I tried as I break very late. And I've just tapped him there. It's cost me time. I did actually break on my point. But he broke there early. I didn't expect him to break that early. I'm going to stay to Rich now for as long as I can run his final lap. As I'm nice and close by him. He's run very wide there. And I'm going to try and run his outside here. Because he's run wide. I'm going to try and capitalise on his mistake. As he slow it down there. Give me some room. Give me too much room. And he's run wide. And that's allowed me to take the lead as he comes back to me there. But comes back at me. But didn't quite manage to make the move done. 
as that was scrappy from both of us, wasn't it? I think we both just got so nervous of a final lap showdown. Both on new tyres, both pushing hard. And that was an awesome feeling. And in fact, that felt better on this game than it did previous games because of the tyres. Because you're not pushing that hard usually. You don't push hard with these tyres. You just kind of drive the car around. You don't push like you did in the previous game. So in the previous game, you're pushing the whole race anyway. So pushing for the last couple of laps didn't really feel any better. But pushing for the last three laps, really trying to battle for the lead, felt awesome. And uh, apparently, 3.6 ahead of him, which isn't right either. But on to minus one now. I'm going to have to go to lean to make sure I can recover that fuel back. Yep, straight away it's come back to me. So that's allowing to take the win then. Quite an aggressive move, must be said. But quite happy that, like I said, we were both scrappy there. Both getting so much pressure for battling for the lead. Let's have a look at the results then. So there we go. 1.5 in the end. That's a real time to Fake Ghost. And I did indeed also get the fast up the race. Only by about a tenth to Smuffler. And Fake Ghost only managed a 16.3. So that's about half a second quicker than him. A couple of penalties there as well. Awesome race though, really looking forward to doing a bit more serious racing with the league, um, yeah, even if it's not league races at first, even if it's just social races, but looking 50% races, really looking forward to that with some competitive guys, right, thank you for watching, bye bye.